Morning everyone, this is Chef Marie here. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make a flaky pie dough. We're going to do it from our lab packet. Um, uh, the recipe calls for uh, 10 ounces of pastry flour. I'm using AP uh, because I'm home. Uh, we're gonna use seven ounces of shortening or butter or a mixture of both. I like to use, I'm using a butter blend right now, but you could do all shortening, some butter, or it all depends on your ratio, but we'll do the same. Make sure it's really cold. I just pulled this out of the freezer. Um, we're gonna have three ounces of cold water, a teaspoon of salt, and then um, a half an ounce of sugar optional. I like to put the sugar in because I'm doing an apple pie right now, but if you're gonna do a pie dough for say a quiche or some other savory application, I wouldn't use um, sugar in it because it'll taste kind of funny. Okay, oops. Let's go. First things first, you want to stick your dry ingredients in the bowl. Well, just actually the flour, okay? And then this recipe, and I'm gonna add um, my cold fat, whatever fat you're going to use. You're gonna add that to the bowl. Um, then I am going to measure out my three ounces of water. It's cold, I had to put it, pull it out of the uh, freezer uh, because I don't have ice in my apartment, so. Okay, so I have, I'm gonna dilute my salt and my sugar in the water, okay? Just, I'll let that sit aside for a little bit. Um, the reason why we're diluting the uh, salt and sugar in the water is so it could be evenly dispersed. Sometimes if you have salt in your flour and you make your pie dough, what happens is, when you roll it, you'll see the salt particles in it. Okay, from here, I'm gonna use a pastry blender. I forgot to pull it out. See, what's important um, to do your mise en place. Okay, so um, I'm going to use a pastry blender and I'm gonna cut my butter or my fat into the flour as quickly as possible. For a flaky pie dough, you wanna have the butter chunks um, to be about pea size or hazelnut size, just because you want that butter to be flaky in your, um, it creates flakes in your pie crust. Okay, so if you don't have one of these things, you can just cut up the butter smaller um, and uh, with a knife and then kind of rub it with your fingertips. If you have cold hands, if not, you could take a couple of knives and you could cut it. You could use a bench scraper. You could do this directly on the bench if you want and just cut the butter like so. If you don't have a bench scraper, if you have a bowl scraper, you can do the same. Uh, cut, cut the butter in with the, the backside of a bowl scraper, like, like so, okay? Just make sure the butter chunks are about pea size. I have to work quick, because this butter blend gets soft easily. Ooh, butter's everywhere, okay? I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible so I don't warm it up. I hope you guys are safe. Um, I know being home is kind of crazy, but you know, being home saves other people from getting sick. Okay, so the, I'm gonna just stop here a little bit because this butter blend is getting soft, okay? So you can see it's a kind of chunky, okay? If I wanted to make it a mealy pie dough, you're gonna cut it till it resembles cornmeal, but I'm, I'm just gonna go in between the two because I'm gonna use both this dough for the top and bottom of my apple pie. Okay, so here we go. Then from here, I'm just gonna add enough of the cold water, just enough of the cold water that it comes together. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna add it all first. Okay, I'll just hold back like a tablespoon or so. I'm just gonna um, move my hand around to make sure it just moistens it up. I'm not squishing it. See, there's a lot of dry bits, so I'm gonna add some more water water to that ah I didn't add oh, I had the, the wrong water oh this is horrible okay we'll just we'll just make do okay friends this is this is I can't redo this one <laughs> maybe I'll add the sugar separate and the salt separate hold on take a pause guys take a pause so that's a tea I said a teaspoon of salt I'll just add the teaspoon of salt separate teaspoon of salt and then it was about a half a half 
half an ounce of sugar. I know it was about a little bit over a tablespoon or so, so I'll just you know, add that on top. Sorry. Okay, let's try this again, y'all. I'm gonna add a little bit more water that it comes together. Okay. You don't wanna add too much because if you add too much water, it'll, it'll develop too much of the gluten and you'll have a tough pie dough. Okay, I'm feeling it's a little bit dry still, but I'm just gonna work it. Okay, there's a little bit of dry spots. You just wanna make sure it just comes together, but see it's breaking apart. I'll just add a little bit more water. There's no take two at home, guys, because I have the same limited ingredients as y'all. Oh, I think, I think this looks good. Okay, see it's kind of, it, it's coming together just lightly, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is gonna, I'm gonna dump this onto the bench. Let me clear up my area just a bit. Okay. I'm just going to dump this on the bench, or you could just do it on your countertop. I have this really big cutting board I got from Ikea, uh, just because it's kind of big. I'm just going to push it together, okay? See how it's just, it's just holding its shape, and it still looks kind of scraggly. It's okay if it looks kind of shaggy like this, just because um, uh, when we roll it out, it'll develop the gluten that way. It's, it's, this looks good. I'm just going to, I'm just going to bring it together. I'm going to divide this in half because it's gonna be for my top and my bottom for my apple pie. So I'll just cut this straight in half, okay? Just read your directions on your lab packet and don't follow what I just did <laughs> with the sugar and salt. <laughs> ah, okay, first demo of the semester at home, okay? So I'm gonna have these two balls here, if you guys could see them. I'm gonna get a little bit of plastic wrap. And I'll wrap each one. Okay, get a piece of plastic wrap. I like to, ooh, I like to stick my pie dough in one, okay? We're gonna wrap it up. What you wanna do is just kinda lightly flatten it to a disc, okay? Flatten it to a disc just because it's easier to roll into a circle later, okay? So I'm gonna do that the same with this, and then you wanna at least refrigerate this for 30 minutes. But if you're using a shortening blend, if you're gonna use 100% shortening, you have to let your dough rest for about um, four hours. Uh, but usually with just butter that I use, or butter blend, 30 minutes to an hour should be perfect, all right? Well, hold off. So in the meantime, while this is hanging out in the refrigerator, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make my apple pie filling. Okay, see you in a bit.